Should I bring my puppy dog with me? What do you guys think? Should I bring my puppy dog? Justy says it will most likely die if you bring it along. You guys have so little faith in me. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have seen Claude play American Trucking Simulator, but they're the best streams ever. <laughs> they're always so funny. Claude always tries to do the no crash challenge and he always crashes into everything. <laughs> so you know what I think will be the perfect name for this dog since nobody has given me any suggestions in chat. Except for Jacob, but I'm not going to name the dog Taco because that will just make me hungry all the time. I'm going to name the dog Mary Poppins. <laughs> Mary Poppins was like one of my favorite movies when I was really little. Like when I was, I must have been like first or second grade. Like I loved that movie. Like do you, there's like a song in it. There's a song in Mary Poppins that goes like super califragilistic expialidocious. Do you guys know that song? I used to sing that song over and over and over again. That's right. I was the world's most annoying child. <laughs> so me and Mary Poppins are going to go on our adventure to go find a jungle. And hopefully we come back alive. Ooh, look at this is cool. Look at this. Is... Is this a gravel biome? Did I just find a gravel biome? Wait. Are you freaking kidding me? Isn't this rare? What is, there's gravel everywhere. This entire thing is gravel. You guys, this is like right next to my village. This is right next to my village. I could mine all of this and have like a giant concrete factory and make like all kinds of different colors of concrete. My village is right in a flower forest so I can have as much dye as I want that I could have the ultimate concrete factory. Oh my goodness. My mind is exploding right now. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna keep exploring you guys. Uh, this has been so lucky. <gasps> is this another village? Oh my gosh, we found another village. Oh, no, this is the taiga biome, isn't it? It has like this different, this different ground. This is the coarse, this is the coarse dirt here. Why is there, co why is there cobblestone here? Wait, does this naturally generate in taiga biomes? Yeah, I was, I was wondering, I was like watching this video with Will Smith. And I was like, I was like wondering like, why am I so fascinated with this story? Why am I so just fascinated by watching this video of these celebrities talk about their marriage problems? And then I realized, you know, like I, I this is getting a little bit personal, <laughs> but I've had, I've been through that experience myself. I've had a relationship where someone cheated on me. And let me tell you, it was horrible. Like it is one of the most horrible experiences you can go through. I mean, it is just so devastating and so heartbreaking. And so I think that's why I find it so fascinating. I think that's why a lot of people find it fascinating because people are thinking like, oh my gosh, this is like a horrible, horrible experience. They went through it and they figured out how to get over it and save their marriage. And, you know, good for them. I think that's pretty cool. I know when I went through it, when I experienced that, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was not going to forgive that person. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. All right, if I put the boat down like here. Ah! Mary Poppins, I'm sorry. Do you have any rotten flesh? No, of course I don't. All right, get in the boat. No, the dog! Mary Poppins was blown up by a creeper. No! Mary Poppins! Oh my 
gosh. Mary Poppins just saved my life. Did you guys see that? She just saved my life! What? What? Oh, wait. Oh, what's this? What is this? Do you guys see this? What is that? That's right in the center of my screen. Uh, Dr. Brown says that's the pillager thingy. Don't go near that. <laughs> you know what I might do is I might climb up to the top of this mountain that's like right over there just to see if I can see anything. <gasps> Badlands! Badlands, you guys! Well, that's not what we were looking for, but that's pretty cool. That's a it that's a huge Badlands area. Look at that. That's amazing. Exploring is so hard in this game. I didn't real I didn't realize it was this hard. This is my you guys. I I don't under, I don't think you guys understand what a big deal today's stream is. Today this is the first time I've really gone exploring by myself in a single solo survival world. This is this is it. I've never like done this before. Like just like gone far away from my house. I'm far away from my village. I don't have any resources. I'm all on my own. My dog died. I'm just like, I'm just out here exploring. But uh, it's been really fun. I really like it. It like, it taps into your explorer, your, your, your um, exploration spirit, you know? Um, I don't know. I always feel, I've always felt like I'm kind of an explorer at heart. So I really get into that stuff. I used to, so I lived in, uh, for a while when I was younger, I lived in Oregon. Um, uh, kind of in the Portland area in Oregon. And I used to love going to the museums in Oregon and hearing about the, um, hearing the history of Lewis and Clark. And Lewis and Clark were, was kind of like the explorers back in the day that found, basically found the Oregon Trail. Like they mapped out the route from the East Coast over to Oregon. And um, I used to just love those stories about just imagining what it would be like to set out and explore and figure out the trail of how to get to Oregon um, and, cr and how to cross the Rocky Mountains. And uh, yeah, I just I, I found those I just love those stories. So that's my that's my explorer spirit. <laughs> uh, Dr. Brown says the jungle is on the rough rough. Wait, what? Jungle? Dr. Brown says he sees a jungle? Where? Where? Dr. Brown says right there. Turn around. Is that it? If we actually pulled this off? A jungle and a mesa biome in one stream? This would be the most epic Minecraft stream of all time. Is this really the jungle? Look at how big it is. There's bamboo. There's bamboo. You guys, look at this. We found all the bamboo we need. Oh my gosh. I, I'm like, I'm like shaking you guys. I'm like shaking. Yes, you guys, we did it. We did it. We found a jungle. Are you ready for this, Jacob? Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> I told you I was gonna dab if we found a jungle and we found one and I'm super happy. So there you go. Let's go to sleep. I've never actually spent any time. Ooh, what are these? What are these? But what, what, what is this? What is this? <gasps> what, what is this? What is this? Look at it, it's a baby panda. <gasps> what was that? Did he sneeze? There's some important dates coming up. Uh, one of the dates was the date that Claude and I first started streaming together, which was like um, a year ago this week. But the other date is that um, I found my first video or my first 
video that I did on the, this channel. And you guys know I have two YouTube channels. I have my other one that I do like business videos. And that one I've been doing, I've been doing YouTube for like five years. It's been a while. Um, but on this channel, I started this channel, it's almost been two years. And it'll be two years and four months. At the beginning, I wasn't planning on doing daily streams. I wasn't even planning on playing video games on this channel. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I was just experimenting. I was just trying stuff online. And I did the first, I did my first stream, my first live stream, and I played City Skylines on it. And I had so much fun. I had so much fun doing it that I just kept doing it. It's so funny. Like from that first video, I did I just started doing daily streams. Like I wasn't planning on doing daily streams. And at the beginning, I don't know if anybody remembers this, but at the beginning, the, the my channel name was called The Water Cooler. Because I I had this like other business channel and the idea was that, you know, like when you're when you work in an office, people like hang out around the water cooler and just talk and that was that's what i wanted to do was just kind of like hang out and just talk and so i called it the water cooler um and then it i didn't realize i was going to like play daily video games but then um i started on my first stream playing video games and i liked it and so i just kept just day after day after day i just enjoyed it so much that i just kept coming and playing video games every single day. And then I changed my name to Zach Daily Games because I realized like that's really what I enjoyed doing and I had so much fun doing it. I met so many great people in chat who would just like show up, you know, people like Claude and AJ and Good Gaming and King of Strange and Brady and all of you guys. Um, I just had so much fun. And so I changed my name to Zach Daily Games. And it was my it, it was my commitment that I wanted this channel to be about this commitment that I would show up every single day and just have fun playing games. And you know, if people show up, they show up. That's great. But I'm gonna be here every day playing games. And so that's what that's how the channel started. It was just kind of an accident. I just really enjoyed it, and I just kept doing it. It's so weird to think about. I mean, I didn't plan it at all. It just kind of it just kind of happened. Yeah, it's it's funny that you you mentioned Typical Gamer. I mean, I get a lot of inspiration from this channel from watching Typical Gamer because I've I've watched a lot of his streams. I watched a lot of his streams, and I talked about this once. And this kind of has to do with um, I mentioned earlier uh, earlier in the stream tonight. We were talking about Will Smith and cheating and all of that stuff. Well, I went through a really bad breakup, and it was the breakup where I experienced somebody cheating on me, and it was it was just a horrible horrible experience. And one of the ways I got through that and like, you know, worked through all of the kind of the hard emotional experience of going through that was I watched a lot of typical gamers streams like and it was just so nice to have a positive, a positive streamer that you could watch um, who streamed regularly. And it was just like a positive place. You know, when you're like in a negative place like that where stuff in your life is not going well, it's just helpful to have like a positive place with positive people where you can just go hang out and have fun. And that's all it was. It was just that simple. And so I'll always be appreciative to Typical Gamer for all the streams that I watched from his channel. And I still watch his streams. What you realize when you go through really hard times in your life is that those times were really helpful for you to learn and grow and become a better person and just become more uh, more aware and more understanding and learn what you want yourself for your life and what specifically if you go through like romantic issues what what you want in a relationship and what you want in a partner and hey you guys we are back we are back we did it this has like been the most successful stream of Minecraft I think I've ever done. What an epic, epic adventure this was. Holy cow. But anyway, what I'm saying is like, I'm not bitter. When I look back and I, I, I just see that as part of the story of growing up and learning.
And if you go through like a, a breakup or a relationship in your life, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be sad and it's gonna be hard, but you just have to realize you'll get through it. If you just stay positive and you just keep on moving forward, you'll get through it. And then you'll look back years later and realize that that was an important moment for you to learn and grow. 